Hi scholars, it's Miss Lawton here. And today I will be doing your shared reading with you. Before we get started, there is one word that we will need to know today. And I want to put that word up here for us. That word that we will need to be familiar with today is defense. Say it with me, defense. This word means to basically protect yourself from something. So if you are on the defense, you are protecting yourself. Now we're gonna jump right into our text. It's a very fun text today. I have a colored copy, but in your packet, you have a copy that looks just like this. So go ahead and get your packet out. I will give you 30 seconds to do so and turn to the page that looks just like this. Awesome job, scholars. So the title of our shared reading today is Don't Touch Me. Hmm. Before we actually jump into the reading, I want you to take a look at it. I'm gonna scroll very slowly so that you get a very good look at our pictures and beautiful colors. And you're gonna tell me what you think this will be about. Hmm. Awesome job, Prince. Tell me some things that you notice. Awesome job. We notice plants and flowers, and some of them have pokey things that looks like they may hurt us. Okay. So with that being said, what do you think our reading today will um, talk about? Awesome job, friends. Could possibly be talking about plants that you should not touch. Good job, friends. Um, today, as we read, I want you to think about the genre of this text. What is the genre of this text? I'm going to jump right in um, to the reading portion, starting with our title, Don't Touch Me by Elizabeth Preston. Plants can't run away from hungry animals, so some of them fight back. They have defenses to keep creatures from eating them. These plants can scratch you or stab you. Some of them can make you sick. Others make you itch like crazy. Don't get too close or you'll be sorry. Do you have a rose bush in your yard? Do you know these pretty flowers are better for sniffing than touching? Roses have sharp prickles on their stems. Some other plants, like the hawthorn, have woody thorns. And beautiful holly leaves have very sharp points. Holly leaves and berries have extra protection. They're poisonous. Cactus plants keep animals away with spines. Some cacti have arms, but hugging them is a bad idea. A stinging nettle doesn't look as dangerous as a spiny cactus, but it's covered with sharp hairs called trichomes. The hairs are like tiny needles. If you touch them, they poke your skin with chemicals that sting and itch. You might get a nasty rash. Poison ivy, Leaves have oils that can make you itchy. If your soccer balls rolls into a patch of poison ivy during a game, you might be scratching later. Poison oak and poison stomach are related plants that make the same oils. You can watch out for poison ivy by remembering the rhyme. Leaves of three, let it be. Awesome job, scholars. So who can tell me what you believe the genre of our text is on today. Awesome.
awesome job scholars the genre of our text is non-fiction good job friends now we will move on to the question and answer portion of our lesson on today Make sure your page looks just like mine. You're just gonna flip right to the very next page. Question number one, how does the stinging nettle defend itself? How does the stinging nettle defend itself? Let's go back up into our text and let's see how the stinging nettle defends itself. How does the stinging nettle protect itself? Awesome job, friends. The stinging nettle is covered with sharp hairs. The hairs are like tiny needles. And if you touch them, they poke your skin with chemicals that sting and itch. I'm gonna give us a few moments to write the answer down. I highlighted the important parts with my highlighter and you can do so on your paper as well, but this is the answer to that first question. So go ahead and write that answer down. You have a few moments. Five more seconds to get the answer written down. Awesome job, friends. We're going back to our answer sheet. How could this help you in real life? Hmm, how could the information that we were given in our text today help us in real life? I want you to go ahead and think about that. Awesome job, friends. This text can help us to stay away from those plants that could be dangerous to us. Awesome job, good answer. All right, we're gonna move on to number three. Why do you think the author included these close-up photographs? Why do you think the author included these close-up photographs? Wonderful job, friend. The author included these photographs. So close up, so that we would know what the plants look like and to stay away from them. Good job. Go ahead and write the answer down. You have about 30 seconds to finish writing that answer down before we move on. Awesome job today, scholars. I hope you enjoyed our shared reading text. I did, this was a very fun, informative lesson about some very dangerous plants. And hopefully when we get to go outside again, we'll be able to look at these plants and only look from a distance if we have some in our very own backyard. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy, and I look forward to seeing you all whenever we can return to school. Goodbye.